graders. Um, the, for, the, for goal three on increasing student engagement and learning and teacher engagement and instruction, and, and under that, um, initiative two, strengthen community connections by developing and sustaining partnerships with local individual businesses and organizations to reinforce the learning of 21st century skills in and outside of the classroom. That's been like over the top with our 250th anniversary projects. Um, but there's one that I really want to mention before I get into the 250 um, pieces. Our second graders um, have been working closely with the um, Fort Williams Children's Garden Committee. And um, last week, um, over three days, they went um, to Fort Williams. And as part of their science unit on um, plant life cycles, um, they visited Fort Williams um, and did work to improve pollinator habitat. And you may have read it. Um, I think you've read it. This is this in some in the local news. And so what they did is they harvested seeds um, from last year's wildflowers um, at the Arboretum's Lighthouse View site. And then they sowed the seeds with other native wildflowers and native grasses um, at the cliffside site. And then they also um, worked, at, they went to the composted site where, if you remember last year, we did this lasagna uh, with all these um, biodegradable materials. Um, and that's where the children's garden will be located. So the intent is that these improvements in pollinator habitat will help um, monarch butterflies and honeybees flourishing. So um, I don't know if you've heard from your children, but there's been a dearth of monarch butterflies. And they're very concerned, as are we. Um, and the same thing with, some, with honeybees. So, so they've been really active um, in that. So we're really proud of the work that they're doing there. And they're really kicking off um, the children's garden um, with with vigor, so we're excited about that. So the 250th anniversary um, projects are well underway, and the, the energy at the school is just palpable. Students are just really, really excited about the work that they've been doing. And I know I've talked about it before. They're taking tour, they've taken tours around um, the town. The third and fourth graders have been keeping research journals. Um, we've had a lot of guest speakers coming in um, who have been very generous with their time. Many of them bring artifacts in with them to show um, old family pictures, old pictures. You know, we've had we had um, we had Barbara Cummings' grandson say, "Hey, that's my dad, my grandfather." You know, like in one of the pictures of you know on an old tractor. You know, when um, his dad was younger, so it was pretty cool. Um, Probably our, our most famous guest speaker was a couple of weeks ago, Joni Benoit Samuelson came in and she spoke to the third and fourth graders and she was just so inspirational and because they were all mobbing her for her autograph afterwards and she, she had to be somewhere and she looked at me and she said, Kelly, I'll come back and sign the autographs. I said, you know, just... We know, we know your time is precious, but she was just so giving of her time. But the dialogue was, was really, really energizing for the students because they were asking her, and you probably read it in the newsletter, but they were asking her these great questions. They had, they, the teachers prepared them so well, um, you know, showing them, you know, footage from when, they, when she won the Olympics, which was well before they were born. Um, and she talked about growing up in Cape and how she was too shy to run on the roads at the time. She talked about Title IX not being, I mean, that, you know, not being available when she was growing up and, what, and our students knew what Title IX was. I mean, it was, it was really just a wonderful experience. So um, just quickly, um, you know, going down through the grade levels, um, kindergarten, I've mentioned before, they have this birthday cake. If you would like to come over, it's, you can't eat it. It's, it's not edible, but um, it's right in the front entryway. This big, giant cake says a big sign, you know, happy birthday cake, Elizabeth from the Pond Club Kindergarten. Uh, Mary Jane Johnson, our art teacher, worked with them on that. Um, the first grade, and this was a project, this is a 250 project funded by CIF, Um Last week, they worked with marine educator Carol Steingart from Coast Encounters, and she is a um, licensed marine educator, so she has a license to catch and release um, sea creatures. She, get, she got most of them from Kettle Cove, and um, I, had to, I had so many photos, I had to do an ad at them because the memory was too big for me to download the newsletter this week. So if you haven't checked it out yet, check out the pictures of the kids they, they were just, many of them were really tentative, but once they saw their peers start to get brave and they were just picking them up, and it was, it was wonderful. So this prepares them for their unit on t local tide pools and ties into their 250 project with artists and residents um, 
Sarah Herbelsheimer, who is going to be um, creating a multimedia tide pool um, with the students. And so she also attended part of Carol Steingart's um, presentation with each first grade had her by themselves. They, she was set up for shop in the health room for two days. And um, there also as part of their 250 studies, um, the first graders are studying Portland Headlight, history of Portland Headlight, and then other lighthouses. And so um, in the lobby, they're going to be with um, Sarah Hubbelsheimer, the artist, um, they're going to be recreating a replica of Portland Headlight, and then it will be surrounded by a multimedia tide pool. Um, so it will all, it's very interdisciplinary. Um, the second graders are working with writing guru John Holdridge um, every Tuesday, and so they've been out, um, a couple weeks ago they went out taking pictures with their iPads all over the town, and then they're writing poetry pieces about their pictures. Um, and I've, and they're, they're doing, um, I, I won't describe it all right now, but they're doing some pretty cool things with him. But one of the things, too, I think is important to know, it's not just about the, all of this. His, the process has been so invigorating for the students. And so when I was sitting in on one of the poetry lessons, um, there were one, at one point they were wrapping up, and John Holdridge said to these second graders, they, they were a little nervous, well, I'm not done, I, I haven't gone this far. And he said, you know, we're wherever you are is right where you should be, right where you are supposed to be. That's what process is about. And it was just so nice, you know, and you could just see them go oh, like this. But so, you know, they're benefiting a lot, obviously, of learning about the history of their town, but the process of their learning has really been enriched through this as well. Um, third and fourth graders, um, as you know, from the generosity of CIF and the PCPA, have huge projects going on. And the, um, the third graders have this the mural is just over the top. Well, this, it'll be um, a permanent art installation in the entryway, um, probably in the 1st of June. It is, it is almost ready, except for like the finished coat of it, but we're going to wait until we have to get the, um, the lobby, the entryway ready. Um, there will be a sneak peek of these things if you um, are planning to come to our fourth graders' performance on um, Thursday, just in the lobby. Um, there will be a sneak peek of that. But um, the mural has been made with artist in residence Lori Downey with the help of Mary Jane Johnston. And on Thursday, this Thursday, the fourth graders are performing their physical theater pieces about um, stories of the Cape now and then um, with Gretchen Berg. And it's for fourth grade families and all of you, people that we've invited um, to come if you're available. We are having it filmed, so um, if you can't make it, we are having it filmed, and um, that'll also be part of our digital archive that we'll be um, putting together. We also want to stream it because it's, the capacity piece um, is going to be hard, and we want these other great projects. We also will be inviting the families of the other grade levels to come in and see their projects, too. So we're, that hasn't been um, scheduled yet because we have to wait to, to exactly know when the timing of the projects are done. So that's my news. Um, any, any questions of anything going on? Wow. <laughs> so, wow. Um, that just seems like so much is going on in the building with the teachers and the students. What an enormous undertaking, all of that work. I really cannot tell you how much we appreciate all the teachers who put in all that effort day in and day out. Um, I'm sure it contributes to their workload tremendously. They have really embraced this, like, beyond anything that, beyond the projects, too. I mean, Eric Nielsen has this wonderful ABC book that he's now making into a quilt. I mean, because just to showcase it more. I mean, there's so many things that the teachers have gone, done to go above and beyond, and now they're saying, we want to do this every year. We want to make this better. So as I said, the process, you know, about for the students, but also the process for the teachers, the collaboration, the cross-grade level collaboration. Um, it's, it's, been, it's been really exciting. But the interdisciplinary pieces of it have been very powerful. So it's, um, it's, it's a really, please walk through the school just to see the process is really yeah. like, exciting. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if you can attend any of our events, you know, we'll keep you, we'll keep you apprised of it. So it's exciting. I think that, I think the timing has helped too, to have everything come to a, to a head after sort of the April break and it sort of, 
for, for a nice interdisciplinary piece, Kelly. So I think you all chose carefully and wisely on that. So we had to wait for Smarter Balance to be over, so we right. we volunteered first. <laughs> <laughs>